Hi there, Tracy from Kazadan's Equestrian, and this week we're talking colic. Colic is the leading medical cause of death in a horse, so it's really important that every horse owner understands it, what it is, its symptoms, and what to do when you're faced with some of those. Colic really means stomach pain. We've heard of babies even that get colic. But in a horse, that stomach pain can indicate something really quite serious. Colic is really an umbrella term and it refers to a lot of problems that show that stomach pain as a symptom. Some common causes of colic in horses can be gas, sand, impaction, parasites, dehydration, even tumours. These causes can cause an obstruction in the horse's digestive system, sometimes partial, sometimes full. But as well as the digestive system, sometimes this involves blood supply to vital organs. Colic is definitely a medical emergency in your horse. And if you're suspicious at all, please get straight on to your veterinarian. So what are the symptoms that you should be looking for? A horse can be pawing, biting or kicking at his flanks or stomach, Um, unusual stretching patterns, laying on the ground. They can be pawing at the ground or even look depressed and lethargic. They may not want to move. They may be circling. They could even be sweating abnormally. They often show an increased heart rate and sometimes as well as Um, just lying down, they can actually start to roll and thrash about and be very reluctant to get up. Sometimes colic can be resolved with a vet visit on site, which is why it's so important to get the vet involved as soon as possible. If the colic isn't resolved on site, the horse may need to be transported to a veterinary clinic for surgery. This early intervention is so important to increase the risk of your horse surviving a colic episode. But please note that even with the best care and early intervention, colic can still be fatal. So what can cause colic? There's a lot of unknowns around colic, but some of the things we do know can increase the risk is um, high grain and starchy diets, feeding mouldy food, not drinking enough water, a rapid change of diet, stress, teeth not done regularly, um, eating on dirt or sand regularly. Sometimes it can be caused by a parasite or worm infestation, sometimes stress. Make sure you keep an eye on your horse for those symptoms. Obviously, it doesn't matter what's caused it when you're going through watching your horse in pain like this, and understand that your best chance of full recovery is early intervention by your vet. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like this video. Also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next two that I'll be doing on colic, which will be what to do if you suspect colic with your horse and also what are the preventative measures that you can put in place to really reduce that risk. Thanks, speak to you next week.